four digit numbers are to be formed using digits one, two, three, four, and none of the four digits to be repeated in any manner. And then four more conditions are given. So question is how many numbers can be formed? <coughs> so we'll write the numbers physically. Now let's check the four numbers. So one is it? One is at first place. So remaining are three. So these three numbers can be arranged in three p three manner. That is factorial three divided by factorial three minus three because we have to pick up three numbers at a time. So is equal to six. Now this formula will be using everywhere. So when one is at first place, total six. Arrangements are possible. Two is at first place. Again, six are possible. Three is at first place. Six are possible, and four is at first place. Six arrangements are possible. Now we'll see the conditions. Now two and three not to immediately follow each other. That means two, three, not allowed, and three, two is also not allowed. Then one not to be immediately followed by three. That means one and three cannot be together, and then. Two more. Four cannot be at last place, and one cannot be at first place. So, if you see these conditions, so all the numbers which are marked in red, actually they'll not be counted. So, numbers in black are only to be counted, and total possible arrangements are six. Now we'll see the solution using the formula of permutation and combination also. So we'll first work out the maximum number of uh, arrangements possible. So there are four numbers, four to be picked up. So four p four is equal to factorial four divided by four minus four factorial twenty four. So twenty four are the maximum possible arrangements. So now we have to minus the numbers which will be removed due to the conditions given. <coughs> Now, two, three cannot be together, so that means we consider two, three as one number. Four is one number, and then one is one number. So we have now three entities. So total number possible are three p three, which is equal to six. <coughs> so six such arrangements are possible. Now this, these are to be minus from twenty-four. Now in these six arrangements, two numbers are having one at first place, and two numbers are having four at last place. Similarly, three two. Now three two cannot be together. So total are six. So these are the six possible arrangements, and in this also, <coughs> one is at first place. There are two cases, and four is at last place. There are two cases. Now one three. Now this will this also cannot be together. So we have to minus this. So total six arrangements are possible. Now this will also have two numbers which are which will have one at first place, and two numbers with four at last place. <coughs> Now. Numbers with four at last place, so total six. But these six are actually already counted here. And similarly, one at first place. So two numbers are possible, but these two, which are highlighted in black, cannot be counted because of the conditions one and four. So, and other numbers which are in red are already counted. So total number to be minus are six. Six and six out of twenty-four. I'll clean this. So maximum combinations possible are twenty-four. Then numbers which will be subtracted due to this fact that two, three, and three, two are together. So six plus six, twelve. And then again, we'll minus numbers where one and three are together, so they are also six. 
and four restriction about four four and one restriction about four and one is actually already covered in these numbers so 24 minus 18 six numbers can be formed and our answer is option c